Khan. Hey, this is uh, hey, Shalom, all praises, glory, and honor to y'all. Watch me, y'all. Shai, peace, love, and salutations to the house of David. All right, you sincere brothers out there uh, pushing this gospel. I had the house of David currently being risen up. All right, as the war rages on, the house of Saul is waxing weak and weak, and the house of David is waxing stronger and stronger. All right, um, Shalom to you, brothers. Um, you brothers, keep pushing, keep being diligent. Um, all right, I, I'm a, I'm the brother Zion, a friend of Yahweh Shai coming again. Um, I got maybe part two. I guess part two. I wanted to go into the aftermath of Acts, the 10th chapter. Go to Acts, the 11th chapter, to kind of show the backlash of what had happened concerning Peter, um, going to Cornelius and seeing the people that was with Cornelius. You know, these Gentiles that had received. The Rakaka dies the Holy Ghost, and uh, there was in the spirit, and how Prasita had perceived that the Most High was in a respect of persons amongst men. This vision, what does it mean, this vision uh, that Peter had received, telling them to eat things which were pigs, things which were uh, known unto us pursuant to Moses' law, which was not clean, unclean, unclean animals, right? Uh, what's going on here? Okay, what is the scripture saying? Do you possess the fortitude or the faith? Um, or will you doubt? Will you doubt the word of the Heavenly Father? Do you doubt the word of the Heavenly Father? Because Peter did. Uh, but ultimately, did he do what the Heavenly Father had commanded him to do? Yes, he did. All right. And, and, and how does this play out into the day? Okay. What spirits are back today? Okay. Um, so before we continue to go on in uh, Acts the 11th chapter, I had made mention in the other video on how, you know, um, Peter going to sinners, you know, um, or public or, 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 or so-called what the narrative is pursuant to what people would say um, that, you know, Peter was going to the Israelite foreigners who were acting like Gentiles or uh, acting like heathens or following out the customs and the culture. And in and, and, and which Paul says, whoever these Gentiles were, you know, that he says the opposite. The scripture said the opposite. The scripture said whoever these Gentiles were, they were keeping the law, even though they weren't given the law better than uh, people um, who had the law. All right, so that's that's a, a a direct contradiction to what the narrative is, but nevertheless, that um, I want to lay down the, the the foundation concerning the truth is in which was Peter wasn't Peter wasn't concerned about going to Israelite uh, that was sinners. He he fully understood early in the game, all right, that Yahweh Shammashiach was sent to the sinners. So going to sinners and preaching the gospel to them wasn't nothing. It was a small thing, all right, to him. Uh, Mark chapter. 2 verse 13 uh, and when he went forth again by the seaside and all the multitudes uh, resorted unto him and he taught them I want to jump down to 15 and it came to pass that Yahweh Shai had sat in the meat in his house many publicans and sinners sat also together with Yahweh Shai and the disciples for they were many and they followed him so, you know, there were many publicans and, many, and publicans were hated. Tax, tax collectors were hated. Uh, they looked at as sellouts, as um, coons, as people that was uh, sympathetic to the Romans and uh, helping the Romans in their oppression of the people. All right. They, they were hated. OK, I mean, we this again. All right. And it came to pass that Yahweh Shai sat. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me start up. Uh, verse 14 uh, And as he passed by He saw Levite the son of Altheus Sitting at the receipt of custom And said unto him Follow me And he rose up and followed him And it came to pass That as Yahweh Shai Sat at the meat in his house Many publicans and sinners Sat also together With Yahweh Shai and his disciples For there were many And they followed him So these people that was healed These people that were sinners They followed Yahweh Shai Mashiach and when the scribes and the Pharisees saw him eating with the publicans and the sinners, they said unto him, uh, said unto his disciples, How is it that he eateth and drinketh with the publicans and the sinners? And when Yahweh had heard it, uh, they that were uh, heard it said unto them, They that are whole have no need of a physician, but they that are sick, I come not to call righteous, but to call sinners to repentance. So this notion that that you know, Peter was acting the way he acted. Mind you, in the book of Acts, this is while Yahweh Shai is alive. The book of Acts, this was 
uh, post the death of Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So well after Yahweh Shai had died, um, Peter had received this vision. Peter wasn't tripping about being in room with no Israelite foreigners or no 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 uh, prostitutes or no publicans or no um, sinners. Like nah. All right. So just want to lay down that foundation to kill um, that noise. So now let's go to Acts, the 11th chapter, the aftermath. <laughs> I think that's what I'll call this video, um, um, the aftermath of this, right? So now, Acts, now we just read Peter's. If you didn't watch that video, I recommend you shut this video down. Go back to watch this other video because that video will flow right into this video, okay? Um, uh, uh, Acts 11 and 1, and the apostles and brethren that were in Judea heard that the Gentiles had also received the word of God. What? The apostles and the brethren that was in Judea heard heard that the Gentiles had also received the word of God. And when Peter was come to Jerusalem, they that were of the circumcision contended with him, saying, Thou winnest unto men uncircumcised, and did eat with them? This is this is this is this is this is heavy stuff, man. This is heavy stuff. Right, this is heavy stuff because the, the Peter was given this vision of these of these unclean animals, man, and it was told like, yo, you know, uh, yo, rise up and eat, and he's like, yo, ah, nah, not so, Lord, like I ain't never, I, I ain't like, these things, I ain't, I ain't never ate with these folks. I, he made that statement like, yo, you know, it's not even lawful for me being a Jew to even kick it with you, bro. Be in your house cooling with you like this. This ain't what we do. You know. But the Lord has shown me that. You know what I'm saying. Don't call something. um. Don't don't call something unclean. Or common that he's cleansed. Right. So now Yahweh shot. When, when, when Peter goes back to Judea. um, They like yo. We heard that you was, you was with some Gentiles. What's up with this right. I'm going to see if this thing is working now. See if this thing is working. I don't know what's up. Satan is Satan is really trying it, man. Satan is really trying. So let's go. I want to go to this too because I I, I I I need you guys to know that um I need you guys to know when they talk about the circumcision. Let's close this up. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. Uh, when they talk about the circumcision, you know what the what the def what these definitions are, right? Um, so it says, "And apostles and brethren uh, that were in Judea had heard that the Gentiles had also received the word of God. And when Peter had came to Jerusalem, they that was of the circumcision contended with him." So I want to get a couple of these words, right? Um, the f circumcision is the Jews. Okay, that's who the circumcision. Uh, right, so we went to Peter. They contended with him. That word circumcision. Strong's G, 4061. Peri tame. Peri tame. All right, and that word just simply means uh, the circumcised, the act of right of circumcision. So this is the circumcision of the first day of the circumcision is a term that is used of the Jews, okay? Uh, Christian gathered amongst the Jews in the state of the circumcision. All right, and now, and metaphorically, is for Christians spread it out uh, from the unclean multitude, the truly concentrated to God. So you could be unclean, all right, and be concentrated to God, and you will be of the circumcision. In this case, when he went to Judea, these were the people who knew that they were Israelites. Uh, they were the circumcision. Okay. Um, an extent of, of passions and the removal of spiritual impurity. Okay, so, and one more thing, I'll look up the word contended. Strong's G, 1252, diacrino, diacrino. So when they can, it said to separate, to make a distinction, to discriminate, to prefer, uh, to learn by discrimination, to try to decide, to give judgment, to dispute, to withdraw uh, from one, desert, separate it oneself from a hostile. Uh, oneself in a hostile spirit to oppose, strife, dispute, contend, all right, to be at variance at oneself and to hesitate and to doubt. So when he came back, he caught hell. <laughs> he caught hell, okay? Um, um, saying, thou's witness of the uncircumcision and did eat with them. 
Well, Peter rehearsed the matter from the beginning and expounded on it. All right. Uh, expounded on it by order unto them, saying, uh, Peter, hold on, let me explain myself here, right? Uh, I was in the city of Joppa praying, and in the trance I saw a vision. A certain vessel descended as it had been a great sheep, fell down from heaven by the corners and came unto me. Upon uh, the which, when I had fastened my eyes, I considered and saw four-footed beasts of the earth, and wild beasts, and creeping things, and fowls of the air. And I heard a voice saying unto me, Arise, Peter, slay and eat. But I said, No, not so, Lord. For nothing common or unclean hath at any time entered into my mouth. But the voice answered me again from heaven, What God has cleansed, thou call not uncommon. Okay? Um, and this was done three times. And all were drawn up again unto heaven. All right. After this was done three times. Uh, but behold, immediately there was three men already coming to my house where I was sent from Caesarea unto me. All right. This was Caesarea again. Was what Herod dubbed this place Caesarea in um, where these garrisons were and um, where the Romans were in commemoration to Julius Caesar. Um, to the Caesar, Slachia, of, of Rome. Um, and the spirit bade with me to go with them, nothing doubting. Moreover, these six brethren accompanied me, accompanied me, and we entered into the man's house. And he showed us how he had seen an angel in his house, which stood and said unto him, Send men to Joppa, and call for Simon, whose surname is Peter. Uh, who shall tell thee words? Whereabout thou and all thy house shall be saved. What thou and all thy house shall be saved. What thou and all thy house shall be saved. We we shouldn't we shouldn't marvel at this. Um well, actually two. Um I mean I mean let me see if I could get this real quick. Alright, we shouldn't this shouldn't be too puzzling here. Joshua two and one, and Joshua the son of Nun set forth, set out of Shinnom two men to spy secretly, saying, "Go view the land, even Jericho." And they went out and came into a harlot's house named Rahab and lodged there. And it was told unto the king of Jericho, saying, Behold, there come out men hither tonight of the children of Israel to search out the country. And the king of Jericho sent out Rahab, saying, Bring forth the men uh, that are come to thee, which are entered into thy house, for they have come to search out all the country. And the woman took the two men and hid them and said, There uh, came men unto me, but I wished not where they went. So they had, men did come, but I don't know where the hell they went, right? And it came to pass that about the time of the shutting of the gate, it was dark. And when the men went out, whether the men went not, what, what not, pursue after him quickly, uh, for you shall overtake him. So she like, yo, hurry up, go after them. I don't know where they at. They ain't here, but you better go look quickly, go find them, because you know, they're going to be gone. All right, so she helped these men out. Uh, but she had brought them out of, up onto the roof of her house and hid them with uh, stalks of flax. Which she had laid up upon her roof. And the men pursued after the way to Jordan unto the fords. And as soon as the, uh, they which pursued after them were gone out, she shut the gate. And before they laid down, and she, and she came up unto them from the roof. And said unto the men, I know that the Lord had given you the land. And that your terror is falling upon us. What? And that your terror is falling upon us. Okay. So she feared. And she was in terror. She feared the Lord. She was terrified. Right. And it says has fallen upon us. And all the inhabitants of the land faint because of you. All right. So they had no. They had knowledge because the scriptures that the fame of the Lord had went throughout the all of the earth. Concerning what Yahweh Shimei did to the Egyptians. And how he destroyed the Egyptians and delivered the Egyptians. Uh, the, the, the Israelites. Right. Uh, hopefully I said that right. All right, it destroyed the Egyptians and delivered the Israelites. So that fame in the name of Yahweh Shai was magnified throughout the earth, and all the nations around us feared. So nations being scared of being fearing 
uh, the name of the Heavenly Father. It's not, it's, it's the, the will of the Heavenly Father. All right, it's not a bad thing, that is a good thing. These other nations could fear and they will fear and they will bow down to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, first and foremost, and to the Israelites, uh, his chosen people. Um, uh, for we had heard the Lord dried up the waters of the Red Sea for you, and ye came out of Egypt. And, and what ye did to the two kings of the Amorites that were on the other side of the Jordan, Sharon and O.G., whom ye utterly destroyed. And as soon as we heard these things, our hearts did melt. What our hearts did melt. What our hearts did melt. Neither did there remain any more courage in any man because of you. For the Lord your God, he is the God of heaven above and the earth beneath. All right, giving reference to Yah about Shemia Awashai. Not just her, but everybody in the land, as this woman has reported in her statement. All right, this is the things that she testified to. Now, therefore, I pray unto you, swear on me to this day, since I have showed kindness to you, that you will show kindness unto my father's house and give me a true token. What a true token. What is a token? Oh, I got to go back to this because uh, let's go to. I want to look up this definition. I want to look up the definition. Go to the Old Testament. We'll go to the book of Joshua, the second verse. And we are at the 12th verse. Okay? The 12th verse. And I want to look up this definition of token. So that word right there is oath. Oath, right? A signal, a sign, a mark, a banner, a remembrance, a miraculous sign, a omen, a warning, a token, an inside, a standing, a miracle, and proof. So you gotta you gotta go to you gotta pay attention to that mark. Alright, that word mark plays a very important so this is a token, okay? A token or a token of a covenant. Alright, an an agreement, a mark, okay, a signal, a sign. Right, and he was uh, now. Therefore, I pray ye, swear unto uh, me by the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shai. So, like here, right? Uh, swear to me by the Lord, right? Since I've showed you kindness, that you will also show kindness unto my father's house, and give me a true token. And I will, and that ye will save alive my father. You will what? Save alive my father and my mother and my brethren and my sisters and all they have and deliver our lives from death. And the men answered, Our lives for yours, if ye utter not our business, and it shall be. When the Lord have given us the land, we will deal kindly with thee. Okay, so, um, so when you go on the, the Hebrews, the sixth chapter, we're going to say that because uh, of what Rahab did, she was saved in her household. But everything else was accursed, which was condemned to be put to death. All right. Um, so let's go back to yeah, Acts, I believe. Um, okay. And tell these words hereby, thou and all thy house shall be saved. Okay. Um, so, so Rahab was a omen. Yahweh Shai or Joshua, that was that the, the name you see Joshua was Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai, Moses wasn't able to enter into the tabernacle. Hence, Moses wasn't able to enter into the land because that wasn't his glory. But Yahweh Shai has the name of Joshua. Joshua has the name of Yahweh Shai for a reason. Also, Caleb, Caleb was the one from that generation who went into him. And we're going to look at the history, but it's going to bring out lessons on um, where he came from. All right, and what was the symbolic or the spiritual reason behind this? All right, so this was just a small snippet of something that was going to come. All right, um, let's go back. As the as I began to speak, the Holy Ghost fell on them, as on us at the beginning, stating that there was a difference between us and them. And this was the confirmation that Peter had received. He said, "Damn, they received the Holy Ghost, um, just like we received the Holy Ghost, right?" Then remembered I the words of the Lord, how he said, John indeed baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. For so much then as God has given them 
uh, the like gifts as he did unto us who believed on the Lord Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, that was I. Uh, what was I that I could withstand God? So this is beautiful, right? Because he's saying now he under he is man of is man of full wisdom because now he's understanding what Yahweh Shah Hamashiach was talking about when he said, "Look, John baptized with water, but I'm going to baptize you um, with fire." All right, and um, so let me go. I want to look up this word too as well here. I want to go to the Book of Acts, right? I want to, this is the 11th chapter, and I want to, oh, not look up this word, I want to do something real quick. This is Acts 11 and 1, let's lock it, 16. Um, it says, verse 17, for so much as then as God gave them the gift, as he did unto us who believe on the Lord, Yahweh Shammah, what was I that I could stand? All right, I just want to cross-reference this real quick, right? I want to cross-reference this, and I want to go to, uh, for cross-references, they have uh, Romans chapter 9, verse 15. Uh, for he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I have mercy, and I will have compassion on whom I have compassion. So then it is not him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of God who showeth mercy. Right? Then it has Romans chapter 9, verse uh, 23. All right? And that he may make, make known the riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy, which he had afore prepared unto glory. Even us whom he have called, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. Romans chapter 11 verse 34. Uh, for you know, uh, Slakia, for who have known the mind of the Lord, or who have been his counselor, or who have first given to him, and it shall be uh, recompensed unto him again. For of him and through him and to him are all things whom be glory forever and ever. Okay. Um, let's go to some other other precepts real quick. Real quick. Just want to see what they have here. Um, Romans chapter uh, uh, 9 verse 20. Nay, but O man who art thou to reply against God, shall the thing form say unto him that formed it, Why has that made me thus? Have not the part or power over the clay to of the same lump to make one vessel unto honor and another to dishonor? What if God willing to show his wrath and to make uh, make his power known and nerve much long suffering, the vessels of wrath fitted for destruction? That he may make known the riches of his glory of the vessels of mercy, which he had aforetime appeared unto glory. So the Heavenly Father could do this. The Heavenly Father could do this. The Heavenly Father could take a, a, a vessel of wrath, all right, that was, that was, that was, a proclaimed by man to be a vessel of wrath to make him a vessel of mercy to show his mercy or a vessel that was that was or or or, or, or man said something good was going to happen to him and make something bad happen to him to show his his destruction to show both his sides right it says uh, let me read this again so what if god uh willing to show his wrath and to make his power known Endure with much long suffering the vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, and that he make make known his riches of his glory on the vessels of mercy which he had aforetime prepared for glory. Even us whom he have called, right? Who have we called? The Jews, not of the Jews only, but also of the Gentiles. As he saith in Hosea, I will call them my people which are not my people, and her beloved which is not, uh, which was not beloved. So just like he did in the book of Hosea, he's like, I'm done with y'all. I ain't messing with y'all no more. Right? And he could do he could he can just like he did that with Israel, he can do that with anybody. It's the same thing. Just like he said, Alright, if you guys come back, you know, if you guys come back and leave off from your 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 idols, um, you know, I'll rock with you. This is this is a possibility from Yahweh Shim Shai, right? And it shall come to pass in a place where it said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall they be called the, the children of the living God. Alright, let's go back to Acts 11 and 18. Um, uh, what was that? Was that 18 or was that? Uh, yeah, I'll start at 16, right? Um, 16. Uh, and remembered I the word of the Lord, 
how he said, John indeed uh, baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. For as much as when God gave them the like gifts as he did unto us who believed on the Lord Yahweh Shammashiach, what was I that I could withstand God? When they had heard these things, they held their peace and glorified God, saying, Then have God also to the Gentiles granted repentance of life. This is heavy. Right? Um, right? Now, when, when, when he had made this statement, let's see, let's see, 18, and let's cross-reference this um, real quick. Um, stock here. Bear with me real quick. Um, uh, Romans chapter uh, 3 verse 29. Uh, is he the God of the Jews only? Is he not also of the Gentiles? Yes, of the Gentiles also. Seeing it is one God which shall justify the circumcision by faith and the uncircumcision through faith. Okay. Uh, Romans chapter 9 verse 30 What shall we say that the Gentiles which follow not after righteousness Have attained the righteousness even the righteousness which is of faith Romans chapter 10 verse 12 For there is no difference between the Jew and the Greek For the same Lord over all is rich unto all that call upon his name For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved Alright Romans chapter 15 verse 9 uh, and the Gentiles might glorify God for his mercy, as it is written, For this cause I will confess thee among the Gentiles, and sing unto thy name. Verse 10, And again he saith, Rejoice ye Gentiles with his people. Rejoice ye Gentiles with his people. And again, praise the Lord, all ye Gentiles, and load him, all ye people. And again Isaiah saith, There shall be a root of Jesse, uh, and he shall, raise, shall rise to reign over the Gentiles. Uh, and in him the Gentiles should trust. Romans chapter 15 verse 13. Uh, now God of the hope will fill you with joy and peace and believing that you may abound in hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. And myself am also persuaded of you, my brethren, that ye also are full of goodness, filled with knowledge, and also uh, admonish one another. Verse 15. Nevertheless, brethren, I have written to you a more boldly in some sort as putting you in the mind because of the grace that was given to me and to God that I should be the minister of Yahweh Shammashiach to the Gentiles ministering the gospel of God that the offering of the Gentiles may be acceptable and sanctified by the Holy Ghost. All right. Um, Ephesians, you know, and <laughs> man, this is crazy. I could continue to go on. Um, this is never ending. Concerning these precepts, let's continue to go on and see what we have here, right? Uh, and they which were scattered abroad about the persecution that arose about Stephen traveled as Phineas and Cyphus and Antioch preaching the word of God, none but to the Jews only. So here you have when, when, when prior to this, right, and the church of prior to this, you had men that were teaching, but what they were doing when it was when they had heard about because by this time Stephen had been murdered so when they had heard about what they did was they left jerusalem and they were going to the synagogues this was a, a, a um a custom of paul to reach the jews uh reach the gentiles he would go to the synagogues and teach and then from there he would teach his word and that's where his his word uh would spread out um but when those people that had were scattered abroad when they had went out to go teach they was only teaching to the gentiles to the jews right let me read this. And, and now when uh, they which were scattered abroad upon the persecution. That's why it's very important to understand what was happening in the first century too. Um, the knowing about the, the Claudius. The expelling of the Romans. Uh, how Nero brought them back. Um, the, 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 the murdering of the Romans. The persecution of Stephen. Uh, how this drew. Well, the, the, the ultimate plan. Of Yahabashima Shah, but understanding, you know, uh, what was going on in the first century is very keen to understanding um, these scriptures today. Um, and some of them, of the men of Cyprus and Serene, which uh, when they had, had come to Antioch, spoke unto the Grecians preaching the Lord Yahweh Shai. And the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great a number of them believed and turned to the Lord. All right, and 
in um is it'll go on to tell you that the Jews were first called the, these 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 Grecians. I'm gonna look this word up. I'm gonna look this word up. Um this is Acts twenty one and twenty. I'm gonna look up this word Grecians here. Uh and yeah. So the Hellenists, uh, one who uh, imitates the manners of the customs of the worship of the Greeks and the use of the Greek tongue, uh, used in the New Testament of Jews born in foreign lands and speaking Greek. Okay, so now, um, that's right. So when these people were going to go teach, this is what they would do. They would go to the synagogue and teach nothing but the Jews only. See? teach the word but none until the Jews only and some of them uh, were men of Cyprus and Serene which when they came to Antioch spoke unto the Grecians preaching the Lord All right, so they would go to uh, the Israelites that was amongst these other nations and they were calling themselves underneath these um, you know calling themselves Greek, kind of reminds me of Greek fraternities how you have Jake and these Greek fraternities following after these Greek Grecian um, customs and the hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number of them believed and turned to the Lord. Then the tidings of these things came into the ears of the church, which is in Jerusalem, and they sent forth Barnabas, that he should go as far as Antioch. All right, who had, when they had came, seen the grace of God, was glad and exhorted all of them with the purpose of the heart uh, that they would cleave unto the Lord. For he was a good man and full of the Holy Ghost, and with faith much people was added unto the Lord. Uh, then departed Barnabas to Tarsh, uh, to Taurus, to seek Paul. And when he had found him, he had brought him to Antioch. And it came to pass the whole year they assembled themselves with the church and taught much people. And the disciples were called Christians first in Antioch. So it's not a bad thing to be called Christians. All right. And these days came the prophets from Jerusalem to Antioch. And there stood up a man named Agabus and signified the spirit that they should be great death throughout all the world which came to pass in the last days of Claudius Caesar uh, then the disciples every man according to his ability determined to send relief to the brethren in Judea which also they did and they sent by the elders uh, by the hands of, of Barnabas and Saul mind you it says Saul it doesn't say Paul um, because what had happened had it had happened yet. Okay. So. Um, let's see. I'm just curious real quick. I want to see the next. Chapter here. And Herod has stretched out forth hand. Infected certain church. And killed the brother of James. Yeah. He had a great persecution. Um, that was coming to As Peter knocked on the door. The gate of the Danzo. Peter get locked up. So yeah. So. Uh, we're going to close on that. We'll continue on. Um, I may do a series in Acts because Acts is a very important chapter. Uh, as it unfolds, like it says, man, uh, manifest wisdom. As this thing unfolds, as this story unfolds, uh, you know, people were given visions. They were given signs. Councils would happen. Um, it was uh, some understanding. It was not some... People weren't confused. It was a little confusing. All right, but to unpack it all is to just to tell the story as it is. You don't have to hide things and hide words and make up things and, and twist the Heavenly Father's words. All right, so I pray, hope that it was edifying. All praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Shem Yahweh, Shalom.